Some Hero Gaming. Hello, I'm Some Hero, and today I'm going to be talking about Grand Theft Auto V. This is going to be a things I want in Grand Theft Auto V video, and I'm gonna try and keep it relatively short. If I have a lot of ideas in this notebook of mine, and I'm so since I have so many videos I, or so many ideas, I'm trying to keep this video short. But if you guys want a more in-depth video of each idea I have, then leave that in the comments and make sure you subscribe and make sure you like this video. So let's move along here. The first idea I have is traffic rules. Now in previous Grand Theft Autos, you could just speed past a cop, you could just speed around the city, and no one would care, and it's just very unrealistic. And since they're going for this realistic feel in Grand Theft Auto V, I do believe there should be traffic rules. Next, I think there should be, going hand in hand with traffic rules, better AI driving. The, the artificial intelligence, the computer driving was just terrible. I couldn't drive down the road without my beautiful vehicle getting crashed into. And with the customization in Grand Theft Auto V, I definitely don't want these citizens crashing into my car. So next, I think Grand Theft Auto V should have co-op, and it should also have split screen. Now with the three protagonists, this is just a great, great opening for Rockstar Games to make a co-op game. Or co-op Rockstar. Or, <laughs> sorry, co-op Grand Theft Auto. And also, Grand Theft Auto series has definitely been missing split screen. Now some people, what if I, some people can't afford a system. Some people can't buy a system. Some people can't buy all these games. So why can't I just be able to invite them over to my house and we could play split screen? Now moving on, I think this probably won't happen, but it's still a very cool idea. Now each, what if each NPC is unique? Like a real person and they have a family. For example, there's this guy, right? There's an NPC named Bob Schmidt. If you follow Bob Schmidt throughout the day, they actually live a life. Bob Schmidt will go to work, and they can see that you're following them because they're, they're actually intelligent. They're not just program robots. Now this, I think this, is, this goes very hand in hand with an I, another idea I have, which is what if you could have relationships with any person, any random NPC, like befriending them and so on. Next, I believe there should be dialogue the ability to have dialogue with anyone like for example like in Elder Scrolls you could just walk up to anyone and have there's dialogue options with all of them now this would obviously be take a lot long longer time to make the game but they've Rockstar Games been working on this game for more than a couple years so um yeah, and it doesn't have to be very complicated things either. It doesn't have to be a life story. You could just say, hello, how are you? Nice weather we're having. Next, I think there should be better melee, and different fighting styles should be... There should be the ability to learn different fighting styles. Now, I've heard some people say that the fighting styles in Grand Theft Auto 4 was good, but I really didn't like it. Like, there is... You could... You could, I play PS3, I played it on PS3, so you could press X to duck, and like, after you ducked, you could press several other buttons, and Nico would do like a combo, I just didn't like that at all, it felt very like, uh, I can't find the right word, but it, it just felt like an unresponsive fighting system, so I think they should definitely improve that, hopefully they have already, and I also think there should be different fighting styles, if I want to go out and learn karate with Michael, and learn uh, jujitsu with Trevor, <laughs> which would be very interesting. And uh, I don't know what else is there. I'm trying to think of something else ridiculous. I can't really think of anything else more ridiculous than Trevor doing jujitsu. But you you see what I'm getting at here. And there's not enough buttons on consoles for them to be doing like amazing combos, like it's Tekken or something like that. But still, there's definitely ways to improve on the melee system. Now moving on here. Uh, let's see what else I have. I just had this in my notebook, is that when is there going to be a female protagonist in Grand Theft Auto? Now, I'm not going to get too into that. I know that's going to cause huge debates and arguments, but uh, let's move on here. I think that there should be parking for helicopters. In GTA 4, the parking was terrible. I think there was a total of eight parking spots, which is terrible. In the next Grand Theft Auto, in Grand Theft Auto 5, there's going to be customization of all your vehicles, of 
of virtually any vehicles, they said. So there better be virtually unlimited parking spaces to park all those vehicles. Next, uh, there should be, did I say parking for helicopters? I think I did just say that. That's what I was supposed to be talking about. But yeah, you should also be able to park your, uh, your air vehicles, just any vehicle, your, your boats and your sea vehicles as well. Now, there should maybe be kids in Grand Theft Auto. I don't think there ever has been, like, just normal NPC kids, citizens, civilian things. Maybe, like, obviously not a kid protagonist. This isn't bully or anything, but uh, just children around the world. But it, this would also cause controversy because, like, it's Grand Theft Auto. You don't want the, the kids dying in the game, and just people would be, diff like, annoying about that. That would happen with uh, Skyrim as well. The kids, you can kill them, and all those crazy people were like, Oh, I want to kill kids! <laughs> but moving on here, uh, I think phone, num phone numbers should actually call NPCs and businesses. In Grand Theft Auto 4, there was business or numbers all over the place, like, uh, call this number to buy this car, and then they would just have that... that that end call, I don't know the word for it, but it would just have that tone, it'd be like, doo 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 my voice cracked there, yes, my voice cracked there. <laughs> oh, gosh. But, yeah, and that would also go hand-in-hand hand with my idea of unique NPCs. So if there's every every NPC is unique, then they should all have phone numbers, which is obviously going to take a lot of work. But next, I think that there should be more enterable buildings. It's very sad that Grand Theft Auto 4, beautiful, they had a beautiful opportunity with New York City and they really messed up you couldn't go in you could barely go in any of the buildings it was just a very boring game after you complete the story there's like nothing to do and you're watching the gameplay right now but uh yeah it's very boring <laughs> not the gameplay you know my gameplay is awesome but next i think there should be actual withdrawing and depositing money from the bank slash atm i i'm not really sure why i just feel like having the ATMs there just so I could check the money was very pointless because I could just look at the money in the uh, top right corner of my screen. Now I think there's there should be the ability to rob people and rob people and stores in uh, free roam and get help. For example, like you had Dwayne's Goonies or Goonies, that's a movie. You, you had Dwayne's uh, I don't know, what the heck were they called? You had Dwayne's dudes who could help you around. You should definitely be able to just befriend people and then they could help you and things like that. Help you rob... In, like, uh, Grand, what is it? Red Dead Redemption, you could rob people by pressing one of the buttons. You should be able to do that. And you should also be also be able to hold people hostage so that the, the police... And hopefully the police and law enforcement would respond to that. Like, they're not just going to shoot the civilian that you're holding hostage. Next, there should be... Okay, so I also want to point out it's a current-gen console game, so that means there's going to be restrictions. There are a lot of things that they can't do with this game, but it's still going to be interesting to see what they are going to give us. Next... Okay, so next thing I also have for that is that it's kind of good that it's on current gen because for this doesn't really account for Xbox, but for PS4 you're going to have to pay for multiplayer for most of the games. So we definitely wouldn't want to be playing paying for multiplayer for Grand Theft Auto 5 at least on PS3 and PC if it does come out on PC. Sorry PC gamers. Well, I am one now too, so moving on it looks, I said this before, it looks like there's a lot of ways to make money, so there's got to be ways to lose it. Like shopping and hospital visits is one thing in Grand Theft Auto 4 and previous ones. But, like fines and speeding tickets. And hopefully it doesn't force you to switch characters. And you could sit back and let the computer do the work. So, as you know, there's three protagonists. Now, I don't want to be forced. I don't want the game to say, okay, now switch to Michael and shoot this guy. Okay, now switch to Trevor and fly the helicopter. If I don't want to fly a helicopter, I want Trevor to do it, and I just want to sit in the helicopter and enjoy the scenery, then I better be able to. It's all about freedom and free roam and open world games. Now let me look through my notes here, and I believe that's all I have for this video. Yes, I believe it is. That What is this, 11 minutes are coming around here? 
well, at least for my audio recording, my commentary part. But, um, I went a little too fast there. I could tell I was speaking faster than I usually do. And like I said, if you just heard anything that was, if you heard anything interesting, then leave it in the comments. Tell me, hey man, that's a cool idea. And then maybe I'll make a video only pertaining to that one. And definitely, if you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll definitely get more videos out to you guys. So thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hello, I am some hero, and today I'm going to be talking. Ah! And today I'm going to be talking about things I want in GTA 5. Now this is going to be a very basic video. I'm trying to keep it very short. Uh, I said that with my analyst, but that obviously didn't work out. It came around at like an hour and a half. But I'm already wasting time. <sighs> and, uh, subscribe and like this video, and I'll make an in-depth video of each idea I have in this. Now, uh, I'm, I'm being... <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> Hello. 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 I am some hero, and today I'm going to be talking about Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> oh God. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's how I laugh.